crucial point here. We, as I said before, we all grow up in families. Families are totalitarian, <laughs> egalitarian. They're little states, aren't they? Mommy and daddy make the decisions. And if they're nice and they have lots of children, the children are treated equally. So that's, that's the kind of society. And I'm in favor of it. As I told you, I had a good, lo loving family. I hope the same was, the tru was true for you individually. So the, here's the problem. We take this institution, which we all love and admi admire and should, and is necessary for any kind of society, the family. And we say, well, now look, let's make the big society into a little family. Hey. We'll just keep being family for our whole lives. And what's wrong with that? That sounds all right. Sounds like a great thing. No, it's not. Because that means you're a child all your life. Or you might be one of the few who's chosen to be the daddy or the mommy bossing the children around all your life. The analogy with the family is the basis, for example, of nationalism. We were talking at dinner, a group of li liberals, and we were confessing what our deepest illiberal sin was. The position that we had, which was not consistent with a free society, and I admitted that people of my age, it's often nationalism being proud of being an American, you know, as though it wasn't a good thing to be anything else. And that's, that's terrible, but that, that's how we were educated. And, and the problem is that nationalism is the idea, we're going to make this family with der Führer, il duce, the, the, the symbolic daddy at the head. And that's the formula for fascism. Uh, it's also the formula for central planning socialism. It's also the, it's, it's a rampant, me, rampant metaphor. But look, the kind of society you and I want is a society in which we all grow up we're in families, that's good, we've got to have those, that's wonderful. And then we leave the families and start our own little families. And in the meantime, at your age especially, we have equal friends. We have egalitarianism among friends. And then we grow to adulthood. We start taking responsibilities. This sounds like an old person's rant. Take responsibility, you young people. Come on, shape up. No, that's not quite what I mean. It just means you want to be an adult. Every, every young person wants to be what she can be. And what you can be as an adult should be your choice, not the choice of the state or your parents or anyone else. So <laughs> that's the point. Liberalism, then, is adultism. That's what it should be called. Because all the other political philosophies, the nice ones like being a sweet left-wing, leftish, not too far, Democrat, the nasty ones like being a Trumpian, uh, the really nasty ones like being an out-and-out uh, uh, um, uh, uh, fascist, the equally nasty ones of being a convinced Marxist, all those treat people as children. 